So when we want to put the plate in, we want to find out what's top. So we know this is top because we already punched it. Uh, we know this is top because that's what's going to be on the top of our sheet. All right. So uh, some of the things I might look for on a plate to make sure that they're okay. If there is a blue line showing, make sure that it's evenly across. That means it's not going to be, the image isn't going to be twisted or turned on it, things to that effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, the head first. Roll it around until we get to um, this clamp. And then, if this is not up high enough, I'm going to go ahead, get the plate to go between the clamp and the bottom, of the clamp that is, and push it in. We want to make sure there's no space in between here, so we do not want to see that. We want that up nice and tight on both sides. I probably can't reach, so I'm backing it up just a little bit so I can get my wrench in here and tighten. It's about a quarter to a half a turn. Same thing here, quarter to a half a turn. I'm going to put some, some tension on this and I'm going to roll this plate around. All right. Once I get to the bottom here, I have to hold it. If I don't hold it, it's going to put some space between the plate cylinder and the plate. So I'm going to now take my large T-wrench and then there's a uh, nut on the side. I'm going to give it a quarter turn and that's going to drop the rollers onto the plate so I can let go and it's not going to allow any space between the plate cylinder and the plate. I'm going to back this up just a touch, kind of curl the plate. Be careful again because the plate is sharp out of metal and I'm going to slide this into position. Once that's slid into position, I'm going to roll up a little bit more so I can get my wrench in here, clamp down on the tail clamp, clamp down, and now I'm going to tighten up these bolts so I get them finger tight. And what I'm doing by tightening these up is I'm stretching the plate and pulling it tight to the, the plate cylinder. Right now, you'll, you'll see that it's kind of rounded. I want to have it look like there's a seam and it's creased. So now I'm going to go ahead and tighten this. I'm going to do one, two. You can see that the seam's starting to crease here. So now I'm going to come over here do the same thing. One, two, and I've got an even crease all the way across, so I might just give it one little nudge and one little nudge. I'm going to back down. Do I have a crease here? It's not exactly there yet, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can tighten this up just a little bit more. That's really loose, so I'm going to make sure it gets tight. Back it off, and I've got a crease pretty much all the way there. All right, so now I know, I know my plate is set. Water system, we didn't talk about this too much, but once we turn it on, the amount of water that's flowing right now, just barely bubbling over that little ledge right there, that's perfect for what we want to do. That's perfect for what we want to use. So that's about where you want to be. Anything more, what will happen is too much water will collect on here and it will shoot out all over the place and we don't want that. So once we feel we're ready to go, we can close this up. Take my wrenches, put them back where I normally keep them and that would be in these little spots there. So that's my plate wrench I'll put here and the T-wrenches will be down here. One thing that I didn't tell you about that I need to tell you about is remember we talked about these adjustments? These are micro adjustments, left to right, micro adjustments front to back, but when we first start out, if we're really, really off, we want to use the macro adjustments, which would be in here. So we'd loosen up three bolts, and then we'll take this Allen key and slide. You'll see a very, 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 very faint little groove right there, and that groove is basically my marker that I know to follow on this gauge from zero to ten, you know, negative 20 or plus 20. You have the same thing over here. And I will tell you, if you're trying to line up two colors, it's not always the same adjustment. It'll be close, but it won't always be the same adjustment. All right? Definitely want to bolt these up because over vibration, it'll open up and it'll fall thinking you have an open door. See my hands? I should have put some gloves on. It's probably a smart thing to do down the road if you're, you're working with this and you want to start, try to stay clean. So my ink adjustment, I have that set up to about a little less than five. That should be fine. It's our first run of the day. I did spray 
some preserver on here. So what I'm going to do is try to get myself a fresh coat of ink around and all I'm doing is just moving my lever back and forth until I start to see it get nice and shiny and you can see it looks like it's wet. All right. Inside here it kind of looks pretty similar but that's because we preserved it but I think we should be okay. So we're about ready to give this a start. Let's pause 